this, this battle is also going to rely a lot on our Among Us. It's, it's kind of checks. Oh my god, man! Like, really, bro? Yo, what's up guys? AFC Adinho here. Fortunately, the other episode wasn't the final, but yeah, we are at 7.30. And we need to be at 7.32. We could essentially get it with one win if we get a normal opponent. Still got my boy Shin with me. And yeah, I'm gonna I'm I'm really crying, man. This, this is this is this is not good. I need this to be done, but I see a fortress. Okay, okay. okay. That'll be a long ass game, bro. But my my rhythm watch is actually really good for Sim. Let me uh He might lead off his with, with his own rhythm, but my Mian Chao is gonna be important in this game. I'm not gonna click knockoff in this case in case he is um oh he Oh 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 guys it's it's hard. okay if we win this we get it We you turn air in case he's trick, because I want him to have the assault best if it's trick, because um, it's gonna be much easier to killing this. Doing a clean 25, get him a high dragon, and yeah, I just click stealth rock here, because it's gonna help. It's gonna help me um, versus it's gonna help me versus the chandelier, especially since I don't have the item anymore. So he has a bunch of potential rockers. I don't want to assume this is the rocker. A dragon can be really good into my opponent. Because his only dragon type resist is fortress, which I can flamethrower. We're going back into Mian Chao. He does go for ice beam. Don't freeze me! Uh, freeze me! Freeze me! <laughs> you taught me well, Shen. Now I get the U-turn off, and I don't have to care about Chandelure coming in on Flamethrower. The reason is because I resist the fire type attack anyway. He comes in on rocks, he comes in on sandstorm. But basically what I want to prevent is him clicking Rapid Spin against me. So even if Garchomp comes in, I think it's fine. And if the Renatar is Assault Pest, then uh, that's gonna help me too. Burn him. <laughs> you wanna watch me Dragon Pulse here, bro? I'm gonna do it. I'm too good at this game, bro! <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Into your Chandler. I'm clicking Dragon Pulse on YouTube, bro. I'm... That fortress might die to close combat from there. And I'm chipping this Tyranitar too. Like, he, he doesn't have long to go. So now I will make the Mianchao play. Let's see what he does. I think that's a Salt Pest. But I, I will always U turn. Uh, I. I if I click close combat, that gives him an opportunity to outplay me, and U-turn never gives him an opportunity to outplay me. Wait, don't be pissed at Barry, bro. Oh, your rocket helmet, what am I saying? I get in this guy again. Yeah, I just now I click pulse, because we did 31 last time. And this fortress didn't get to do anything, unfortunately. And a Dragon Pulse here. Going into your Tyranitar again. There we go. Look at how much damage we're doing to Tyranitar as well. That's Smooth Rock. I felt like the Sandstorm is going on for ages. I just go Mian Shao again. Because even if he goes Fortress, I kill him with close combat. Oh no, I, w I, d I 
forgot to pray. Uh, we forgot to pray. Damn. I just full switch. Even if Garchum comes in, I just hit him, bar ice him. I didn't want to reveal uh, hit him, bar ice there. Because I can just use it here. And he doesn't have leftover, so this might be like one of those offensive. Uh, yep. 54, that's not much. I don't think that's life warped. And yeah, there's nothing really coming in on Hidden Power Rise there. But it goes for Defog. Uh, it goes for Rocks, I mean. I still get the leftovers recovery. Among Us is still full HP. I can bring in on Bloom. Bloom comes in on Rocks. Because Fortress won't be able to rapid spin versus me. My whole team is literally faster than him. And after he takes the Rocks damage. Kill him with everything, aside from Pursuit and Ice Shard. And if he's Choice Bandit, Zen Headbutt or something, I have two Dark Types. Okay. So does he have anything? I only need, need you for this. It's Swords Dead, Zen Headbutt, okay. You know that means he's lacking a move. <laughs> But I can just uh, go this guy, Ice Shard. So it's either side, he's lacking a move on this. But yeah, his Ice Shard switch is not there either. Because, yeah, Fortress can take an Ice Shard. But he cannot take two. And I will always be able to Ice Shard. Force Dance said that, but interesting. The only annoying thing here is that this guy is frozen, so... If this is Substitute, I actually have an issue. I have to go Hydreigon. If this is Substitute, I have to get Hydreigon in. That's the stupid thing about Miesho being frozen, bro. He would have thought here. Don't... Okay. <laughs> okay. At least we know Chandelure's choice. Yeah, it's a Salt Fest star. Still, Ice Shard should be looking really good against my opponent. Gliscor should be looking good as well. Uh, uh, Gliscor looks really good, I gotta say. Guys, Berloom. Berloom. Yeah, Berloom might not have Mach Punch. He might have it though, but. Um, I can use Gliscor instead there. Let's see if he. Uh, Felix Sword stands there, that's just insane. Exactly. They're gonna take the Sandstorm damage. I could just facade into him. I can facade into you as well. Look at how close this up. Okay, that, that guy is, the, is an offensive one. I'm going into Rotomir. The reason is because Berloom cannot set up for free on me. If I go Miensha and he Volt switches, he can essentially Sword Stance again, and that can be annoying. Hidden power? What hidden power type is that though? 
Super effective. Hidden power grass? That guy, that guy doesn't like Gastrodon. I think I should be fine. Bills here as well. Because I go Weave on next, and Shinovera coming in on Stelbrock. And he doesn't mock punch, so he dies. Let's try. Goodbye, nice try. And I can finally see. My oh my god, bro. Oh. Finally, bro. Actually, should have gone into Shin into me and Shot. Just, just so that he doesn't end end the game frozen. 7.33! We did it, boys! Finally! 7.33.33 Rank 98, finally, bro. What time is it going to reset? 8 p.m. 8 oh, oh. I think it just... I think it just reset. But yeah, I will eventually keep keep a screenshot but yeah we hit it guys um i will probably edit the part in which i get it uh, into this video but we did it in that game you know you know maybe we should play another one we're only 11 minutes in so what do you think we already hit it though we already hit it we already hit it. So guys, for you guys, a bonus battle. So I'm going to pause the video and we'll be right back. Uh, okay, guys, time for our next game. The green hair. Oh my god, bro. Yeah, it's in need of kink. Um, this one is rough, bro. It basically has a counter for everything. It basically has a counter for everything, man. Damn, bro. This one is tough. Because Empoleon completely shuts down my... Uh, Empoleon completely shuts down my Hydreigon. So I, I think what I have to do is get up rocks at least. If we're trading rocks, it's okay. But I need to pressure his Weavile. The moment his Weavile dies, I will have an easier time against him. Because my Rotom is going to be busy dealing with Gliscor. It's going to be busy dealing with... Uh, Empoleon. Okay, I'm really scared here, bro. This can be all so this can be all sorts of things. Take out. I did it a lot, so I assume he's offensive. But we should be able to win this. We get up rocks. This, this battle is also going to rely a lot on our Among Us. It's kind of checks. Oh my god, man! Like, really, bro? Really, bro? Oh, come on. I need you, Among Us! Among Us was, like, like I said, Among Us is so important, man.
Leftovers as well. I need chip on this guy. Go into Superior, please. Don't go into Glasscore or Nido King. Or you just do this. Just stay in. Damn. Please be close combat over Train Punch. Okay. So the only way I can probably thaw is if, um... Nah, see? This is just dumb, bro. Leaf Storm. So I, I'd have to go straight into Gliscor, uh, into Weavile. This shit is just so stupid. Because my Gliscor cannot sweep it until Nidoking and Weavile are dead. Miss. You know what I'm hoping is that he clicks hidden bar of fire here. Click it and live. Amongus, I need you to live. I have zero switches to this now. Oh no, oh, please! This is how we're- this- this is literally how we're losing the game, bro. We just need to- Man. Okay. The only good thing is he is using, uh, Leaf Storms on me. On this thing. Do it again. Just, just see what a freeze. It doesn't add anything. It just, like, yeah, it's a fifty percent chance uh, every time. I need to get, I need to get three hits at least. If I get two hits, it's uh, kind of done. Is he just gonna sweep me? I know if I kill Empoleon, I win the game with Vival. But he's the things I can kill Empoleon, Empoleon with, he's just gonna swap out against. Reply score. Yeah, it doesn't give me a return kill, he just goes Empoleon. This is just. This is just stupid. And I can never go into run him because if he doubles into if he ever switches. But because he was behind a sub, just don't do anything. Let's hope this guy is um not ice beam. But I'm definitely going to need rocks this game. If I ever wanna get something done. Maybe he's afraid of focus blast. I they literally make the game more difficult for me every time with those freezes. Because in, in the beginning I said Among Us is important because it needs to check the Hariyama, but it also needs to check the other guy. I'm gonna taunt here. Figure out what this is, because this might be defog. I don't know if this is U-turn. If it's U-turn, it's at least not um, toxic. I really hope it's toxic here, though. Then he doesn't touch me, I'm gonna free Dragon Pulse off.
But now I have to play above, like, I have to move mountains to win this game, which is just insane. Because it's gonna involve Stealth Rock dealing with Nidoking and Weavile. So I don't think he touches me. He's going back into Empoleon. Probably. I actually found an opening here. I'm gonna knock off in case he lets me. Maybe he's gonna predict. I think. I should be able to U turn always there. I have my own glide score. Well, I'm bowling was his rocker. I guess I could have, could have U turned and just and just get on my rhythm, I guess. But if my Mianchi is faster, it's better here. Because I always get in my I get in my glide score for free against him. And his superior has too much HP. That's a stupid thing. You get recovery here. So I have to go hard syrup here. Okay, because we've all. Um, I think that's fair. Maybe I should always just click Earthquake, but I wanted SD to hit Serp. We'll get a one time hit off on Serp. This is what I meant. I can never sweep with Glyscore as long as Nido King and Weeple are alive. That's why I needed rocks. As long as I had Amoongus, then Superior couldn't sweep me. But now every time I bring in Rodom, it's just an invitation to Superior. Cannot let Superior come in there. If he goes into his ground types, I at least get recovery from uh, leftovers. The Superior. That's the, that's the biggest threat right now. Uh, along. Okay. That's actually pretty decent. Why not go Serb? I'm gonna use this again. Clicking close combat. Weaver comes in. Okay. Um This is looking quite good for Weaver, I gotta say. But I need me and Chao for the Needle King, so his Weaver is probably gonna come in. If it's his, I hope he goes Serp. I hope he's just stupid. I hope he's stupid and goes Serp. But I think I need to keep High Dragons. Wait, what? Why is Nido King his play? You know the beautiful thing there? No, but it doesn't work. His ability is Share Force. And if he... If he's Scarf, by the way... It doesn't matter. Weepa will take it. But I will, get, I will basically get a kill here. Because I think the... Um, Ariyama is... Thick, uh, is is not thick pet. I think he is. Um, that's because so, he only has ice tappers uh, weaknesses now. Unless he goes Weavile here. I'm so surprised that he gave me Empoleon as well. Ariyama. Please don't be thick pet, man. Just die. Okay, that wasn't thick pet.
What? No. Yeah, this, this guy is 100 percent scar. I was at, I was also at minus I was at minus one with my uh, minus one spin death with my guy. I'm not gonna use turn there. I'm gonna glide score. I know he scarfed. Just from the damage he did to me. Is that scarf though? Needle King. Thirty-five. He actually isn't scarfed. Which way? Thirty-five. No. Should have done way less. He's he's doing way too much damage. Nice beam. Remind me and shall. I don't, I don't, I don't know anymore, bro. I guess he is scarfed then. I actually don't want to lose this. So if he, in, in case he night slashes here, I'm going into this guy. Because if I push him out one more time, he's in nice shard range. But I cannot switch in Rotom um, like that. I just need to force him one out one more time. Get in this guy. Yeah, these rocks are just. Helping me out so much. Yeah. He might go into his uh, superior, but I just need a free swap into Weaval. I was I will probably stack something. Actually, I still don't know what kind of uh, what kind of uh, Needle King we're facing here. But the reason I'm pain splitting is because in case I need it for Weevil. I can afford this, to do this once. He's really holding on. Again, man, I, I wouldn't be in this position if that guy didn't freaking... didn't freaking praise me, bro. swaps here because he doesn't touch me at all does he want to let me sword stance here
I really gotta think about this. As long as Rotom is alive. Because Weaver can actually still live Ice Shard. But I can still defog, so I think I sec this. He can still miss. They don't they never miss. But I, I just click Ice Shard there. By locking myself into that move. Actually, maybe I should just spare. Because he's gonna sack something. Because Mian Chao's full HP. I don't know if he wants to sack this. I can still lose this annoying thing. I don't want to lose there. Okay. He sacks this at least. I clicked Ice Icicle Spirit because this. Might make him go into Nido King. I don't want him to go Weavile because then I have to play a mind game in pursuit. Or him just going for Icicle Spare and kill me. Exactly. I, I don't think he's Scarf, bro. But he didn't use Ice Beam against my Nido, uh, against my Gliscor, so maybe just Modest or something? Modest Choice Scarf? Maybe it's maybe just mod modest choice card. Mm, we're gonna be in the same scenario. I might, I might actually lose. It's gonna be a Weevil speed tie. Well, Weaver still lives one, so good turn. That one did more damage. Yeah, this is it's either speed or he, he, he clicks pursuit here like a like a mad lab. Yeah. I, I have nothing to hit him back, so... Ah. Yeah, crit. Okay. Well, if he, if he was Scarf... Uh, I, I don't know if he was Scarf. I, That's stupid.
Yeah, I think he scarfed. I get off my HP eyes and then... Oh, thank the lord. Unless... Unless he crits me. Unless he crits me on Xiao. Come on, Xiao. Like, you guys don't know how... In a bad position I was when the Moongus was, was frozen against that team, bro. You guys don't know. Easy. Easy. Like, at Superior, I wouldn't have done all that bullshit if <laughs> you get frozen, bro. <laughs> Boom. We made it. We made it. 7.35, guys. Finally, I'm done. Uh, 35 minutes into this video. It hasn't updated yet, but uh, I will edit it in, guys. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you for being here as well, my man. Man, Shin. It's all because of you. And yeah, check out the team on Patreon. I, I can finally post it. But by the time, by the time this video is live, um, it's, it's already there. I'm gonna post it probably tomorrow. Uh, June, Ju July the twenty second. <laughs> so yeah, subscribe to the channel, guys. Like this video and join our Discord server. And everyone, thank you for joining me on this road to top hundred. See you guys next season. Peace out.